Quick look now at the rest of the stories making headlines in a business news roundup. Pwani Oil has diversified into home care and personal care manufacturing. The firm announced a significant investment in an ultra-modern plant, which is the first of its kind in the East African region. The plant will enable the manufacturing of 40 tons of home care products and 12 tons of personal care products daily. From our consumer research, right from the last eight years that we've continuously uh, been talking to consumers all over the country, it became clear and apparent to us that there are gaps in terms of what other manufacturers are providing to the Kenyan consumer, and this is what we wanted to kill. So if we Elsewhere, a group of university lecturers from various universities have graduated from a rigorous scaling and immersion program in teaching and research organized by the Microsoft Africa Development Center. The program is aimed at improving students' classroom experience and learning. Our key objective number one was to really work with faculty on technical skilling. So looking at software engineering fundamentals, how do you teach software engineering fundamentals, and how do you integrate emerging technologies in the courses that students learn. So Finally, Dutch National Carrier KLM has introduced a new cabin class, dubbed Premium Comfort, in between the Economy Class and Business Class. The new cabin is installed on old Boeing 777 and 787 aircraft flying to international destinations. The full region, it's in 2023, we will deploy as much capacity as we did before the COVID crisis in 2019. So that's a very good recovery of the capacity in the market. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.